Seven trillion dollars. That's the number Sam Altman is quietly chasing and most people have no idea why. It's not for a startup, not for a government bailout, and not for some distant moonshot. It's for something far more urgent, the future of artificial intelligence. Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, is orchestrating one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in modern history. A global network of AI-optimized chip factories, energy hubs, and data centers that could redefine the balance of power across industries, economies, and even nations. This isn't a pitch deck fantasy. He's already in talks with sovereign wealth funds, including the UAE, and major players like SoftBank. The goal is simple but staggering. Eliminate the bottlenecks that threaten AI's exponential growth. Because right now, the biggest threat to AI isn't regulation or ethics, it's hardware. The world doesn't have enough chips, enough energy, or enough compute to keep up with the models being built. Altman knows this and he's betting that whoever solves it will control the future. To understand the scale, consider this. The global semiconductor market was valued at around $527 billion last year. Altman wants to raise more than 10 times that amount. Why? Because training frontier AI models like GPT-5 or GPT-6 requires massive compute power. Hundreds of thousands of GPUs running non-stop consuming energy at levels comparable to small cities. And that's just for one model. Multiply that by the dozens of companies racing to build their own large language models and you begin to see the problem. The demand for chips is outpacing supply. NVIDIA, the current king of AI hardware, can't manufacture fast enough. Their H100 chips are back-ordered for months and prices have surged. Altman's solution is, well, pretty radical build vertically integrated infrastructure that bypasses traditional supply chains. So, what does that actually mean? It means new fabs, new energy grids, and new logistics, all carefully optimized for AI. But, you know, this isn't just a tech story. It's also a geopolitical one. Because the race for AI supremacy is, at this point, no longer just about innovation, it's really about control. The United States, China, and the European Union are all pouring billions into AI development, but, honestly, they're constrained by chip access and energy costs. Altman's plan could give OpenAI, and by extension, the United States, a pretty significant strategic advantage. If this is successful, it would mean that the most powerful AI systems in the world are trained, hosted, and operated on infrastructure controlled by a single entity. That's honestly, unprecedented. And it raises some serious questions about centralization, governance, and transparency. But Altman isn't just thinking about chips, he's thinking about the entire stack. From silicon to software, from energy to ethics, he wants to build a system that can scale safely and, you know, sustainably. That's why he's also pushing for global coordination on AI safety, lobbying governments to regulate frontier models, and well, investing in alignment research. It's a paradox. The same man racing to build the most powerful AI systems is also warning about their risks. Some critics call it a conflict of interest, others see it as pragmatic leadership. Either way, Altman is shaping the future more aggressively than any other figure in tech. And the financial implications are massive. If he succeeds, OpenAI could become the most valuable company in the world not because of its products, but because of its infrastructure. Think about it for a second. In the oil age, the most powerful companies were those that controlled extraction, refinement, and distribution. In the AI age, the equivalent is compute. Whoever controls the chips, the energy, and the data centers, well, they control the models. And whoever controls the models, they control the applications, finance, healthcare, defense, education, pretty much everything. That's why Altman's $7 trillion bet isn't just bold, it's existential. It's a play for dominance in a world where, honestly, intelligence is the new currency. And it's already starting to reshape investment strategies. Venture capital firms are shifting their focus from software to silicon. Governments are, you know, subsidizing chip production. Energy companies are partnering with data centers. The ripple effects are just everywhere. 
But here's what most people miss. This isn't just about building more chips, it's about building smarter chips. Altman is reportedly exploring custom silicon optimized for AI workloads. Chips that can train models faster, cheaper, and with less energy. That could disrupt NVIDIA's dominance and open the door for new players. It could also accelerate the pace of innovation making today's models look primitive in hindsight. And that's where things get complicated because, you know, faster innovation means faster disruption. Jobs, industries, and entire economies could be upended. We're already seeing it. AI is automating customer service, legal research, medical diagnostics, and even creative work. According to Goldman Sachs, generative AI could impact as many as 300 million jobs. And honestly, that's not some far-off scenario. We're talking about the next five years. Altman's infrastructure strategy is only going to speed up this shift. By eliminating the compute bottleneck, he's making it possible for models to develop faster, be used more widely, and integrate more deeply into our daily lives. Sure, that means more efficiency and growth, but it also brings up some tough ethical and economic questions. Who really benefits from all this change and, you know, who might end up getting left behind? Altman has said publicly that he wants AI to be a force for good, a tool that expands opportunity and tackles global challenges. But honestly, the reality is a lot more complicated. AI really reflects its creators, and its impact depends entirely on how it's put to use. That's why infrastructure matters. It's not just about speed, it's about control. And you know, Altman understands that better than anyone. He's not just building tools, he's building the rails they run on. And in doing so, he's positioning OpenAI as the backbone of the next industrial revolution. Whether you agree with his vision or not, you just can't ignore it. Because the decisions being made today will shape the next century. And honestly, the stakes couldn't be higher. If Altman's bet pays off, we'll enter a world where intelligence is abundant, scalable and embedded into every system we use. But if it fails, we could face a fragmented landscape of underpowered models, energy shortages, and well, geopolitical tension. Either way, the outcome will affect you. Your job, your data, your decisions, they'll all be influenced by the infrastructure being built right now. And that's why this story matters. It's not just about Sam Altman, it's about the future we're all stepping into. If you found this video insightful, Make sure to subscribe, like, and drop a comment below. Your engagement helps us bring more deep dives like this to life and keeps you ahead of the curve in a world that's changing faster than ever.